All right, so what is today? What is the date? Uh, 21st? 20, no, it's 20th. 20th. Uh, Sunday. August 20th. Sunday. The Ross Report. <laughs> uh, now we're going to get into this fucking bullshit. So if you guys or anybody had any doubt about the merit of my chemtrails uh, thing around over here, in Camarillo, well, maybe this hurricane will clear it up. So, for one, when I look up on the weather, uh, I, huh, okay, there's a hurricane coming. <laughs> when I look on the weather, the first words that it uses are this product. Yeah. The product. The product of what? The product of our weather manipulation uh, program coupled with our camp tra- I mean, I didn't say camp trails. I meant, uh, oh, weather, yeah, modification, okay. Uh, I guess I'm blowing it now anyway. What I see on the radar map is a very wide swath of supposed rain that's going to happen at, at one point in time, like literally right around 1145, there should be rain hitting the ground from the past the, the tip of Baja up to almost the Arctic Circle, We've had all in everything. one weak-ass tropical depression that's been downgraded to about 35 miles an hour, and there's no core I don't see any kind of a core. I see an arc. I don't see the core. If the arc was indicative of the uh, bands that form in a hurricane, then the hurricane would be the size of three quarters of the world. Well, it's not. It's uh, it, astute Tracy here. That's her new name. Tracy the Astute. <laughs> you have been knighted. I, astuted? And you don't know this, but <laughs> I, I knighted her with a penis on her forehead a while back. <laughs> she uh, happened to look for no, I was marine gonna, alerts. Yeah, I was How is a big storm like that raining everywhere, but there's not one little, hey, it. if you're in a boat, you need to get the fuck out. Right? Yeah, you need to like at least anchor good or go to a cove or around. Or it's not raining. It's got some blowing winds. But I see spots of blue in the sky, and they're predicting doom and gloom. Now, oh, I am not saying that it won't turn into doom and gloom. I am saying us, huh? that it is uh, <laughs> not natural. No. Uh, any fucking idiot morning? that wants to believe, hey. I don't believe in weather modification. Oh, I bet you think Walt Disney was a great guy, too. <laughs> so, uh, and it's right on the heels of Maui, the fucking, uh, you know, what did they do? Just move the beam over? When they shot it, they fucking, they were partying up there at the harp array. They clinked some glasses and accidentally touched the joystick and it slid off of Maui, went into the ocean, caused a few fucking extra raindrops. And looking at Maui, if anybody come fucking on, it's time for you lethargic asleep lotus eaters to get the fuck up stop putting that shit in your face Maui how is it that they're gonna have wildfires uh, uh, on a jungle oh yeah wildfires in a jungle because that super saturated wood burns like crazy yeah uh no the trees were burned. The trees not only weren't burned. I mean, I could maybe say, hey, there might be some trunks left. Just devastated cars. Always steel and bricks. Okay, when we went up to, uh, we were trying to go up to uh, Seattle and pa- Paradise. They were, it, we saw the guardrails on the freeway drooped like someone had melted wax. But the, the steel guardrails. But the wooden goal, the wooden posts that hold them up, 
They didn't even have char marks on them where the steel that got so hot would have done if it had. So it got hot and cooled down that fast. I can't tell where I'm looking. Paradise, steel and bricks. Uh, Maui, steel and bricks, cars. How are you getting something so fucking hot that it's melting steel into puddles? But the green tree right next to it shows no fucking marks. Really? It don't make sense. There's only a couple of ways that could happen. Oh, let me see. Maybe it's the same thing that happened when that 11-story tall, multi-ton spire fell off the top of the trade center. And before it hit the ground, now you're talking something falling at least 86 feet per second, it was dissolved into dust. And that's why you had a giant castle of stuff. By the time it got to the ground, it just made a little bit of dust at the bottom, and that's what the debris was from the trade centers. Anyone looking at all the shit that went to build those buildings... And then when it all fell down, it should have covered fucking Manhattan. Should have that island should have been underwater because of uh, and though it all the only thing that came rolling down the streets was dust. If anybody has a doubt about directed energy weapons and what they can do with them, this is just kids playing with their fucking ant house. They're just saying, you know, I'm kind of getting bored with it. What if I hold a magnifying glass up there and burn the little ants? And that, people, brings me to the point. If you thought you were a human and you had some value, you are a fucking ant to those pieces of shit like Klaus Schwab, George Soros, Gavin Newsom, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, Dickhead fuckface, whoever the fuck that has much money and we don't. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Good morning.